small stony objects known as asteroids go around the Sun. Although asteroids are much smaller than planets, they orbit the Sun similarly to planets. In our solar system, there are many asteroids. The main asteroid belt, which is the area between Mars and Jupiter's orbits, is where the majority of them are found. Occasionally, asteroids pass in front of or behind Jupiter. Trojan asteroids are what they are. Near-Earth objects, or NEOs for short, are asteroids that pass within a certain distance of Earth. NASA closely monitors NEOs. So in this video, we are going to talk about the top 5 facts about asteroids in space. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to never miss any updates. So, let's get started. Number 1. From where did asteroids originate? The creation of our solar system left behind asteroids. A large cloud of gas and dust crashed to form our solar system some 4.6 billion years ago. Most of the material fell to the cloud's core as a result, creating the Sun. Planets were created as some of the cloud's dust condensed. The asteroids in the asteroid belt were never able to fuse into planets. They are leftovers from when planets were formed, a very long time ago. Number 2. What are asteroids like? Although some of the largest asteroids like Ceres are almost spherical, most asteroids are irregularly shaped. They frequently have craters or pits, Vesta for example, has a huge crater with a diameter of 285 miles or 460 kilometers. It is believed that most asteroids have dust on their surfaces. In their irregular orbits around the Sun, asteroids also rotate, occasionally tumbling rather violently. According to NASA, it is also known that around 150 asteroids have a small companion moon, with some having two. There are also double or binary asteroids, which are systems of three nearly equal-sized asteroids that orbit each other. Number 3. What types of asteroids are there? According to their composition, asteroids generally belong to one of three classes. More than 75% of known asteroids are carbonaceous asteroids, also known as C-type asteroids. They are grayish in appearance and the most prevalent. They reside in the outside portions of the main belt and are presumably made of clay and stony silicate rocks. The S-type or salicaceous asteroids, which make up roughly 17% of all known asteroids and predominate in the inner asteroid belt, range in color from green to reddish. They appear to be constructed of silicate and nickel-iron elements. The majority of the remaining asteroids are reddish-colored M-type or metallic asteroids, which are found in the central part of the main belt and make up the majority of the remaining asteroids. They resemble nickel-iron alloys. There are numerous further uncommon varieties based on composition. For instance, the basaltic, volcanic crust of the V-type asteroids, such as Vesta, is one such rare type. Number 4. Are all asteroids the same? No way. There are never two identical asteroids because they formed at various places and distances from the Sun. Here are some examples of how they differ. Unlike planets, asteroids are not spherical. They have angular and erratic forms. While some asteroids have diameters of hundreds of miles, most are much smaller than pebbles. The majority of asteroids are constructed of diverse types of rocks, although some are also composed of clay or metals like nickel and iron. Number 5. Do Asteroids Hit Earth? Asteroids and comets have frequently struck Earth since its formation roughly 4.5 billion years ago. According to NASA, Earth collisions by the most hazardous asteroids are incredibly uncommon. It would take an asteroid wider than a quarter of a mile to cause a global catastrophe. A nuclear winter would be effectively created by such an event, according to research estimates, severely impacting agriculture all around the planet. According to NASA officials, a huge asteroid only strikes Earth once every 1,000 generations on average. Smaller asteroids that are thought to hit Earth every 1,000 to 10,000 years might obliterate an entire city or trigger catastrophic tsunamis. Space rocks smaller than 82 feet in diameter would most likely burn up as they hit Earth's atmosphere, according to NASA. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative and amazing videos. Thank you for watching.